I know what you're thinking. Didn't the Redmi Note 11 series already launch? Well, you're absolutely right. Sort of. Yes, we did see these phones launch last year in China and India, but now the new line of cheap Xiaomi phones has been re-unveiled for a global audience. In total, four new phones were unveiled. The Note 11, Note 11 S, Note 11 Pro, and Note 11 Pro 5G, all with slightly different specs to their Asian counterparts. Xiaomi shared both release date and price for its upcoming Redmi Note 11 phones, so we've already got a good idea of their availability. In the UK, the Redmi Note 11 will go on sale on February 24th, while the Pro 5G will hit shelves later in the year. We don't have an exact date on that one just yet international release dates will likely be similar. So, how much will these set you back? Well, before we get into that, we just need to point something out. We've been provided the cost in US dollars, but Xiaomi doesn't actually sell its phones in the US. So these are just a reference point. We've provided a comparison conversion here, but take it with a grain of salt for now. As the phone's name suggests, the Note 11 Pro 5G can connect to 5G networks in regions that offer them, which is a step up over the Note 10 Pro, which was only 4G. Curiously though, the standard Note 11 is 4G only, despite the fact that the lowest end member of the line launched in the UK last year was the Note 10 5G. So watch out, because if you go for the lowest end model, you're actually losing 5G here. So are these phones actually worth picking up? I'm joined by TechRadar's phone editor James Peckham to find out more. What are the major differences between these ones and the ones that launched last year in China? Yeah, so we saw them launch just in China. Um, they're very, very different. Weirdly, this, these phones have the same name as those devices, but if you're looking them up online, make sure that you're uh, getting the one for the global market because they have different screen sizes, different processors, uh, even different cameras. The cameras are a little bit worse on the China models than they are on the UK ones. Um, yeah, bit of an oddity there and something that Xiaomi continues to keep doing and making a little bit more confusing for the average person. So um, make sure you're looking at the global version if you're looking at the specs for this device. Absolutely, absolutely. And so we know these phones are cheap. Is this a case of get what you pay for? Maybe people should see a clear of them or are they actually worth checking out? Uh, it's likely, it's likely that they will be, they will be, they will run like cheap phones. They're, they're, we're looking at prices around the £200, uh, £250 pound mark. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be bad phones, especially over the last five years or so. Cheap phones have become a lot better. If that's your budget that you're looking for, this is possibly going to be one of the best options for you at the moment. We can't say that for certain until we've actually tried them out ourselves, which we haven't done yet. Um, but we'll be doing so in the next couple of weeks and hopefully we should have some full reviews. That would be my main advice is to wait until that comes around and then read our reviews and you should then know whether it's worth the money or not. Absolutely, absolutely. And finally, then we know these aren't launching in the US. Xiaomi phones don't typically launch in the US. Um, what no. other options are there in that really low end budget for our US viewers? Yeah, the um, weirdly in the US, the low end budget isn't as good as it is for us in here in the UK. We get the options of Xiaomi and Vivo and Oppo. We get a much wider variety than the US people do. And mm. um, I think my main two choices would probably be the Moto G Power from last year. Uh, that's a phone with a fantastically long battery life. That's around two hundred dollars, or that's that's what it launched at. I think you probably even get that a little bit cheaper at the moment as well. Um, so that's a little bit different. And then another choice would be the OnePlus Nord N two hundred five G, one of the longest phone names on the market. Um, but that handset is around the two hundred fifty dollar mark. I think it's two hundred forty dollars when I last saw it. Um, and that would be another good option for you as well. But yeah, you're probably not going to get a Xiaomi phone if you live in the UK. Well, there you have it. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of the latest Redmi Note phones. And finally, remember to head over to techradar.com for all the latest tech news and reviews.